Hello, Mr. Embry, Raptors Selection Committee. Here's the story of how a small town Manitoba boy's passion and perseverance in the sport of basketball led him to China. Let's go. Chapter one starts on the farm where my first love, like everyone else at school, was hockey. It wasn't until 1995 when the NBA expanded and I could watch something on our three channels that wasn't hockey or baseball that I found my true passion, basketball. For the first time, I felt like I truly understood something. Fast forward to grade eight. Our school didn't have an outdoor basketball court, so I spearheaded a fundraising campaign wherein four friends and I auctioned off the right to shave our heads to the highest bidder. That's me on the left. Chapter two, high school. I'm the skinny kid in these pictures because I'm the only grade nine on the varsity team. But grade nine was significant because I was playing on the varsity team. It's significant because that's the year I started coaching. I wasn't a bad player either. In addition to two MVPs in basketball, I received the award for dedication to sport in the community and the award for most dedicated athlete. After high school, I was off to nearby Brandon University, where I continued to hone my coaching skills, eventually getting hired on as a women's assistant coach after my graduation. I took my education degree to Beijing. Over the past seven years in China, I've been athletic director and coached basketball at different levels while completing a master's degree in education, coaching studies at the University of Victoria, where I wrote the first overseas basketball curriculum to be accepted by the British Columbia Ministry of Education. Over that time, I spent my summers volunteering at the Legion Athletic Camp as a coach and camp director. All my life, I've created opportunities for myself in basketball. I'll continue to learn and grow as a basketball professional. But if my next chapter is with the Toronto Raptors, I will do everything to run with it. Thank you.